Have you ever felt like making two parts per minute requires hundreds of machines? Did it ever discourage you from progress? Fixit has satisfactory answers to your trouble. The hard drive hunt. Ada, how do you recommend to proceed? Fixit recommends pioneers to use a specially tuned device called object scanner. What? Object scanner? This early it's useless. It can only find the most useless items in the game. And pale berries. I recommend the satisfactory calculator. It shows you all drop pods in the game and parts or power required to open them. Use it together with Update 6 new map feature markers. You can even highlight them to easily see their location for better orientation in cumbersome terrain. Now as what to bring with you, it depends on drop pod requirements. For early game, focus on drop pod requiring just power or basic parts that are available to you. It won't hurt to take parts for a few biomass burners and one stack of biomass to power them. Also, some drop pods might require basic parts like screws, so it's wise to plan your journey beforehand and take whatever you might need. Good practice is to collect parts that are scattered around drop pods. You can use them later to unlock other pods that are harder to open. As you might have noticed in your adventures, drop pods are not usually located in friendly, easy to reach places. Almost all of them are located in smart and aggressive fauna environment, aka safe. Having trouble reaching safe places? That's where ramps and lookout towers come into place. Do you miss a ladder or two to scale mountains? Just use one on the lookout tower, it's already there. Got the hard drive? Then smash it into the mem, aka malfunctioning adverse machine. This is your ticket to forbidden knowledge. Once there, it's safe to dismantle the mem. Ada will continue to do research in the background as you carry on with the hunt. Ada is doing her best to facilitate the completion of this research without severe malfunction. ETA 9 minutes. Malfunctioning adverse machine just finished the first hard drive analysis. Great, let's have a look. The first option is trash. We don't even have a foundry yet. It has very niche late game applications, so just skip it. The second option looks better, since it enables you to do almost everything from iron. However, copper availability is not an issue for early game, so let's skip this one too. The third option is the beauty here. It uses way less iron plates per unit produced, wire is easier to produce than screws, and production rate of one item is slightly faster. I choose this one. Now, what came down has to come back up, right? This is the dawn of a new era. Knowledge won't be forbidden anymore. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. It's time to do more research. The first option is just another way to make reinforced iron plates. Contrary to the original recipe, it even uses more resources. The only fancy benefit here is production speed. The second and third options are similar. The only instance where I used copper alloy ingot was when I had to mine all copper on the planet to produce 48 nuclear pasta per minute. But that's another story. Bolted iron plate it is.
this is the recipe we've been waiting for. It enables you to skip iron rods and make screws directly from iron ingots. Also, you get the benefit of one machine creating more screws per minute. What's there not to like? Power outages will eventually happen if you go hunting for hard drives too early for too long. I'm beginning to feel the game is really making choices for us now. Iron wire? We probably won't use it anytime soon, but into the collection it goes. Last two hard drives remaining. Bolted frame is nice thanks to increased production speed and goes hand in hand with the cast screw recipe we've just unlocked. The last recipe to pick up is copper rotor. It has faster production speed than the original one and saves on screws. The only minor downside is the use of copper which is theoretically rarer than iron. But that doesn't concern us at this stage in the game so I'll take it. While all hands were focused on research, I spent some downtime to make progress in the hub. And requirements for moving on to the next phase of project assembly are really forgiving. One assembler and several minutes will just do it. Therefore, it's time to move on and create a space service delivery startup, aka uh, whatever. As we launch the first cargo into space for like 23rd time, it's now time to decide. What building style would you like to see in upcoming episodes? Should I just throw everything on the grass, not worrying about foundations at all? Would you like to see huge structures in modern, brutalist or weird fashion? Do you like spaghetti? And are you a fan of abstract art? Or do you want to see something completely different? Let me know in the comments. And remember, choose wisely. Oh, by the way, if you would like to see 97 particle accelerators and the only use case for copper LA ingot recipe, check out this video.